Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for the Crafty Maven Getaway and the theme for this one is Multi-Photo Love. And while I get started here, these are the three photos that I have. I drew out a grid, which is what you saw on the paper, and then that is from Amy Tan, which has got some um, splatters of different colored photos and what I'm showing you there is my line. As you see that I am sewing, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the photos that I'm using. So this is another collection of photos or a project that I want to finish up here in the month of January. And what I am doing is this is the May retreat that I went to. I went to two retreats in the month in the year of 2018 and I'm finishing up the first set of photos so that I can be able to scrapbook the second set of photos before I go to another retreat in May again. And I wanted to be able to get them all done. So what I decided to do in 2018 was to challenge myself with these particular photos or these two um, retreats is to do them in an eight and a half by 11. Now I used to do eight and a half by 11 um, layouts way back when, like when we first started scrapbooking, that was all I could find. And I was like, you know what, if I can do that then, I can do that now. And that's what I decided to do. So the, the year of 2018, all of those retreat photos are eight and a half by 11s. Now, this particular one, I have found that for me, doing a grid layout in an eight and a half by 11 works so much better for me than it does on a 12 by 12 because I'm not leaving so much white space. Where with the 12 by 12s, the photos are four by three, three by four, three by fours, and there fills up most of the space. I do get it all ready to go and here you are. The one thing about acetate is that it takes forever to get the paper or the thread to go through so that I could be able to tape it down. So that's what you see me fussing. I did realize that my sewing machine was trying to move on this acetate so I had to hold it and fix it just a little bit but you can still go through. My sewing machine went through acetate and a little bit of sticky glue so that my paper didn't, you know, both papers didn't move while I was trying to sew. And the photos are of our melting pot experience. I've gone to them before, but I never went with this many ladies and um, gentlemen, because there was a couple of husbands that did come on this retreat that came to supper with us. I've never went with this many people with this many different um, tastes and all of this stuff and it was a true experience. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the best times that um, I had for supper experience and it was just, you know, all around a great time. And the four photos, I have one of the broth, the cheese, and then the photo of my fruit. So we did do like the four, like, you know, four course meal where we had the cheese come out or three course where we had the cheese come out the broth for the food or for like our um, raw meats that we had to cook and then obviously our desserts and what I decided to do with this particular one is diagonal the papers so the two sets of photos have the same yeah the two sets of grid photos have the same style of photos and of papers that I layered just to give it a little bit and then two of them I did a little bit kind of um, wonky and then the other two photos I left straight just to add a little bit to it. Now I absolutely love how this turned out. It did let me use up quite a bit of my um, scraps that I have left over for this collection. Now when I was talking about scraps in that other video that I did with that scrap lift, I keep my scraps when I do things like this. So if I'm doing a collection, like I've said in that video, this is a collection, this is a project that I'm doing, I will keep the scraps until I know that I am done with that project. In this particular collection that I used, I got half of the kit, half of the products came in a kit from 
the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, Christina put it together for me. And then the other parts of these kits I got per personally so that I added to it. So that's why you may see three sets of uh, stickers and that kind of stuff. It's because they just, somehow I ended up with like three sets, but it's okay because I needed them to finish this project. Now, with eight and a half by 11 layouts, I was done with this collection and this paper within like 32 minutes, 33 minutes. And I was able to knock out two of these like quick in a hurry. I was able to get two of these completely done and that was even getting the photos photographed and editing within an hour and 45 minutes. Where my 12 by 12s, because I do so much on them, those can take up to an hour, hour and a half of me actually filming, doing everything, editing the photos to be able to put it on the computer to do what I'm doing here. I'm like, you know, I remember why I love doing eight and a half by 11s over 12 by 12s, but I do truly. I don't think I would ever do go back to just doing eight and a half by 11s for everything. There's no way. I love my 12 by 12s. I love all the space and all the stuff I can add to it because sometimes I feel with the 11 and a half by, or the eight and a half by 11, I'm looking at them and I'm like, man, I wish I could add this, this, and this, but then the whole paper's covered. So, but I do also have challenged myself to do um, sketches with these as well to take a 12 by 12 sketch and break it down to an eight and a half by 11. I've been able to do that as well. And if you go back through my channel, you will find that I've done probably one, two, three, I think I've done now six or seven layouts for this one. I took, I mean, I've taken a lot more photos, you know, just so that I can be able to scrapbook and everything. But I am also like self-conscious of when I'm looking at my photos, do I really truly want to scrapbook this and be able to put it in there and have enough where I feel that there is a story behind it. I'm very minimalist when it comes to scrapbooking. I get a bunch of collections and then I run them through like this. I don't switch my collections because of an event. I keep, I try to keep all of the events and the papers collections all the way through until it's done. Oh yeah, I forgot my um, ATG gun ran out. Of course, isn't that normal? I forgot about that. And Let's see here, what else? So now I'm getting ready to embellish. I did leave a big, one of the squares is where all my journaling is going to go because I do explain that this, I mean, we had, unlike the retreat in November where we stayed at the hotel and we ate hotel food, we, this particular retreat, we went somewhere. So we went somewhere for, um, supper the first night which is cowfish and that was great and I've done I've got a video for that one as well and then we went to the melting pot um, for Saturday night just for something different because I think the cowfish was Thursday night when we went yeah that was Thursday night and then Friday we stayed in and just ordered something I think like pizza or whatever and then Saturday we did the melting pot where unlike when I get ready to do the other ones all of our food and stuff that we purchased and everything was just in the hotel um, restaurant that they had. And it was great um, food for being, you know, hotel food, you know, on that. But I was able to get in the experience of Raleigh a little bit more due to the fact that we left and went to places, even though I've done cowfish before and I've done the melting pot, but you have to realize the food and stuff is different. The cheeses taste different because it's in one section of the world versus the other part of the world. So I love to be able to go to different, like the same restaurants, but different areas and see how it tastes because the cheese is different for that part. And the embellishments on here, I added a meerkat, I added swim with the mermaid. Absolutely nothing to do with this particular layout, but the colors match. And so it didn't bother me a bit to put them down. And I'm just finishing up, like each little section gets a little bit of something in there and then I call it good. And that's the one 
thing that I do like to do a grid layout for the eight and a half by 11 over the 12. 12 by 12 is because I don't feel like I have that much white space. The photos took up most of the spots, so a lot of my embellishments is on the photos, and obviously you don't want to take away from the photo, so it makes it easier for me to just find little bits and pieces to be able to tuck in certain spots, and it works out perfect. So I hope that you enjoy this. Make sure, I always have everything linked down below, but make sure that you go over and check the Crafty Maven Getaway. They have a group, they also have a YouTube channel, there's a blog, all of that information will be linked down below along with my information as well. I started a new blog too, and that's also in the description. It's part of, if you have followed me for a while, I've been talking about my goals. That was a goal to be able to get that launched and released, and I was able to do that on the 15th. So make sure that you go back and go in there and do an email because every time that I upload to my YouTube channel, it automatically does a blog. I do a blog, and then it automatically sends you the email stating that I did um, do something on my channel. Then on top of it, it links. my link is already in there, and then you can hop to my YouTube channel, and there it is if you want to. So I got out these Amy Tans. This was part of the collection that I got from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, and I found the word so and good, and it was so good. It sounds a little weird to have your title that, but it works out perfect. I could have did fantastic, good, lovely, all of that kind of stuff would have worked, but I went with so good. It may not be the correct grammatical title that I should have, but it works perfectly. But I'm finishing this up here, and then I just add little bits and pieces. The still shots are coming up, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!